Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at Psalm chapter 16. David was a man of great faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Truly, this is what we see David exercising in Psalm 16 as evidenced by verses 8 through 11. Check it out. I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will dwell securely. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to undergo decay. You will make known to me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forever. That is so beautiful. What a promise. The emphasis of David's prayer is his faith in the power of God. He declared that the Lord is with him, and because of God's presence, he will be shown the path of life, he will receive fullness of joy, and he will experience pleasures forever. David had confidence in God's ability to keep his promise from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 16, Your house and your kingdom shall endure before me forever, your throne shall be established forever. David trusted God for the resurrection. His faith proclamation was quoted by Paul in Acts 13, verses 34 to 35, as for the fact that he raised him up from the dead, no longer to return to decay. He has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and sure blessings of David. Therefore, he also says in another psalm, you will not allow your holy one to undergo decay. You see, David believed in God's power to raise the dead a thousand years before the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Seize the moment and pray Psalm 16, meditating upon the security of God's covenant promise of the resurrection. Jesus said in John 11, 25 to 26, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Pray with faith. Seize the moment.